We take so many photos nowadays that the sheer volume of photos can quickly become overwhelming. But are you using Apple Photos to its best to help you keep on top of all of those images? With the use of smartphones, it's so easy to take a ton of photos without taking the time to delete and keep on top of a rapidly growing photo catalog. Apple Photos is a great photo app which has some lovely functionality. And if you use it right, you can use it to not only help you store and enjoy your photos, but it can help you keep on top of your photo mess. So in this video, I'm gonna give you my top tips on how to organize your iPhone photos. Albums and folders. Organizing your photos into albums and folders is a great way to keep your photos organized. In Apple Photos, you can create albums for whatever makes sense to you, whether it's people, places, or events. To create an album for the Photos app, hit the select in the top right-hand corner, and then select the photos that you want to add to the album. Tap the three dots on the bottom and select add to album. Then select a new album and give your album a name. But you can also create folders to keep those photos on top of your long stream of albums. So head on over to albums and then hit the plus at the top. Select create new folder and give your folder a name. Slightly annoyingly on the phone, you can only create new folders and then create new albums in that folder by going to the folder, select edit, and then hit the plus sign to create a new album. But to sort your existing albums into folders, you need to head over to the Mac version of Apple Photos. Then you can create a folder with a plus near the album and then drag and drop your albums into those folders. Favorites. We can often focus on trying to get rid of the photos that we don't want, but just as important is taking time to highlight our best photos so that they are easier to find. And this is where our little favorite heart comes in. If you go to your photos app regularly, especially after say big events or holidays to favorite your photos, you will be able to find your best photos a lot easier in the future. To favorite a photo, simply go to the photo you want to favorite and tap the little heart at the bottom. Your favorite photo will now be added to your favorite album, ready for you to easily find in the future. Keywords. Another area you can use in Apple Photos to be able to find and engage with your photos is keywords. It's a great way to add more context to your photos and they can help you find your photos more easily. Unfortunately, again, this is something you can only do on the Mac. To add keywords to your photos, you first need to select one photo or a run of photos and then go to the info area by tapping the eye at the top of the screen. You can then add as many words as you like. Once you have your keywords, you can use them to search for, but you can also use these keywords to create smart albums. To create a smart album, you can do it only on your Mac. But if you go to the My Albums area and click on the little plus sign, you can create a smart album. You can then create a smart album for a particular keywords that you've put onto your photos by selecting keyword in the options and then selecting the keyword you want your smart album to contain. Then every time you add that keyword to one of your photos, it will be added to that smart album. Unfortunately, smart albums are not viewable on your phone at the moment. People. In the people area, Apple Photos will identify people's faces in all your photos and you can simply go in and give them a name. But you can also use this feature to keyword a name into all of your photos as well. If you go to the people area on your Mac, select the person you want to add the keyword for. Select to see all of their photos, then select all the photos with Command A and then go to the info area using that eye at the top and add a keyword of the person's name. Now this will be part of the keywords which you can search for, but also when you export these photos out, the keywords and therefore that person will still be searchable without the Apple photo facial recognition functionality. How cool is that? Visual lookup. Visual lookup is a funky way to identify what is in your photos. It can even identify food and suggest related recipes. To see if visual lookup is available in your photos, open a photo full screen. If the info button at the bottom has little stars on it, this means that visual lookup is available. Tap on the start info button and then in the lookup section just below for the photo, 
you will then be shown the results of the lookup, like what you're looking for is a species of bird or what a particular monument is. To close the results, just tap the X. Media types. If your goal is to get rid of some of your photos, there is a really useful area in Apple Photos called Media Types, which you can use to be able to find some of the photos that you don't want to keep. To find Media Types, head on over to the Albums area on your phone, and if you scroll down a bit, you will find the Media Types. Here you will find things like videos, selfies, screenshots, panoramas. You can click on each area to see just that Media Type. This is especially useful for getting rid of those bad selfie shots when you take multiples or screenshots or all of your videos. Duplicates tool. In an attempt to help us find our photos that we want to delete, we now have the Apple Photos Duplicate Finder. To find the duplicates folder, go to Albums and scroll to the bottom and you will see the duplicates folder. If you don't see a duplicates folder, it may be that you need to leave your phone open for a while for it to scan your catalog. If you do have duplicates, Apple will show you the options and then you can select to merge those photos so that you only have one copy. The duplicates tool will decide which is the best quality and what has the most information and then it will merge everything together so the duplicates will be gone. So there you have it, how to use Apple Photos on your iPhone to be able to organize your photos. Do you know any other great tips for keeping your Apple Photos organized? Then I would love to hear about them in the comments below. Are you confused about which is the best cloud storage for your photos? Then check out my nifty tool to find the best cloud storage for your photos that can be accessed through the link below. So click through and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, then why not go ahead with a like, a share and a subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.